starting in 5 seconds madam deputy chairman since i have to end my speech on a sour note i start with a sweet note by adding my own voice to the plethora of congratulations to our scientist on this great achievement i only wish that our achievements in other sectors also had been so remarkable as to deserve compliments then really the debate on the motion of thanks to the president would have been very illuminating madam i am sorry to say that the president address delivered this week without meaning any disrespect to the president was indeed disappointing it was so dull and routine that the ministers who attended the function including the prime minister dozed off during most of the speech that shows the character of the speech the great achievements incorporated in the speech and quite strangely madam this 16 page document does not give any indication of the direction in which this government is going or proposes to go it does not give even an idea of how this government is going to tackle the manifold problems facing this country more time has been devoted to the problems of afghanistan thailand and other countries and the problem of apartheid i do not object to that but when specific solutions are offered to international problems the problems of other countries the president address does not indicate any solution to any of the problems facing this country that is the unfortunate and the most significant part of his speech madam this government came into power in 1984 with two specific promises one is that they would provide a government that works and the other is that they would provide a clean and honest government my endeavor would be to disapprove both these claims it is not a government that works it is also not an honest government while saying so i do not want to belittle the achievements of and the hard work put in by our farmers by our industrial workers and by our scientists and technologists in their respective fields but for them this country would have collapsed long ago under the burden of mismanagement and misrule of this government either in relation to the problems facing the country or in relation to the problems facing by the state government for centers approval there is complete standstill and the government does not come forward with any solutions to these problems sir whenever a decision is taken there is so much of drama in that if you take the recent changes of the central ministers or even the chief ministers you would find midnight elections heavens would not have fallen if the bihar legislature or the madhya pradesh legislature or some other legislature meets during the day and elects its leaders people are rushed by special planes and elected or selected at midnight hours bringing about wholesale changes in the state administration similarly there is no finality 
about the cabinet changes at the center in spite of 23 cabinet reshuffles since this prime minister has come to power the cabinet is incomplete because even now a number of portfolios are held as dual charge by some cabinet ministers the cabinet itself is not complete even after nearly 3 years of this government that itself shows the indecision of the government and the leadership here if you come to the specific problems this government had earned some euphoria because of certain accords not signed in the beginning of its tenure there was the public accord and the assam accord and what not but what is the position of these accords today the punjab accord is in shambles the problem is more acute today than what it was when this government took charge there is more extremism more violence in spite of the dismissal of punjab government for alleged inept handling of the law and order situation and consequent imposition of president's rule the situation has not improved it has in fact worsened who should be dismissed now for this worsening situation now there are rumors that even the director general of police and the governor also want to quite that is the stage to which the punjab problem has been brought on the assam accord nothing has been done the foreigners problem has not been solved a big contingent including the assam home minister came here and the other day held a dharna at the boat club and got arrested and that is the stage of the assam accord and new problems have been added in west bengal there is a gorkha land demand by giving encouragement to a sessionist demand another problem has been created another state was sought to be created in west bengal i find that all these problems are arising or solutions are evading the problems because the top leadership today lacks not only the maturity to handle these problems but also the political advice which is very essential for a solution of the problems the prime minister is surrounded by a courtier of persons who have no political background stop